Hi, welcome to another video by myself, Rob Allen. This is a machine we've developed to load and fire the gun every two to three seconds. As you can hear, it's cycling very fast. This gauge up here shows the amount of pressure we're pulling on the spear. The spear itself is set at about 110 kgs of tension before another actuator pushes the trigger. The trigger has a dial here that shows the pressure required to, to trigger the spear. The pressure here is about 1.5 to 1.7 kgs of tension. And the other scale in bars, we know that that's pulling at about 110 kgs. There's no way you could do this in a pool I think you'd take four or five minutes per load and fire. We're doing it every two and a half to three seconds. We're going to cycle this for many hours to see what way occurs inside the mechanism. If you look at the mechanism itself, it's in water, in a fish tank. You can see how the whole system goes. When the spear puts tension on, you can actually see how much load is there. So that equals 100, 110 kgs of tension. We'll run this as long as we can and we'll strip and show you the wear on the parts. In the picture you will see there's a clock and uh, it started at about 8 o'clock this morning. We're going to keep it running as long as we can. This is what the cassette looks like after more than nine hours of reloading and firing every two seconds. During that time frame, it was fired just over 16,000 times. Uh, to put this in perspective, if you shot the gun 10 times a day, every day, you only, the only way you're going to see will be what we're seeing now after four years of use, constant use. Uh, we stopped running after nine hours and uh, there's no real point in pushing it more than that. Um, the, the amount of wear shown is so low, not a problem. At the loads we were setting the machine, we found a slight variance on trigger pull. We can actually tell what pressure is required to pull the trigger. And it varied from 2.2 to 2.5 during the nine hours. This is basically the same pressure trigger pull you would need on a handgun. Over the years we've made nine major changes to the vector handle along with a few small tweaks but this current cassette will still fit all previous housings. This is the reason why we haven't come out with a totally new handle yet because we're still improving this old one. As you can see on the trigger the only wear is very minimal basically where the stainless sear engages with the trigger after 16,000 times you can only just see the edge has been slightly worn down ever so slightly a little bit rounded and I think that might have happened right near the beginning and since then nothing else changed if you look at the stainless steel sear, the trailing edge that engages the trigger, there's zero wear on that part. On the trigger itself, we can see a slight shininess on that surface. Other than that, zero wear. The sear tooth has a small divot scuff mark from the spear. After 16,000 shots, if that's all that's showing, it's very small. I would have no problem personally fitting this into a gun and continue using it. On the cassette itself, when disassembling it, the pins were still tight, nothing moved. You would think after hours of shock loading, the holes may have become oval. But these are still perfectly tight and quite hard to push in. This 60% glass filled 
nylon composite is a very good material for this application. If I look in the throat, the roof of the mechanism would have had pressure from the spear and looking inside there with the torch, there's no visible signs of any wear whatsoever. A point of interest, a lot of people feel that it might be necessary to lubricate this. That's not a good idea. Any grease or oil can hold fine particles of sand which will turn into a grinding paste. The last thing you want is uh, anything to create an abrasion. All you need to do with these is rinse them well in fresh water and leave them to dry. We're going to now reassemble the whole cassette with the same parts that have just spent nine hours and we're going to do a brake test just to see how much tension we can still apply to the same cassette that's worked very hard.